dolphins are one of the most intelligent creatures on Earth. There are about 32 species of dolphins, and they are found in various parts of the sea all over the world. You are unlikely to ever see a dolphin on its own. They are very social animals, and youngsters and adults swim together in family groups called pods. Dolphins are also one of the most playful creatures. When they come close to shore, they play in the waves. They don't need a surfboard to ride on. Dolphins are mammals, except that they can only live in water. Their body shape is adapted to perfection for a life of constant swimming. These dolphins are called bottlenose dolphins. They are also one of the most successful species of the ocean because they eat a wide variety of fish, crabs and shrimps. When traveling long distances, the dolphins leap clear of the water as they swim. This is called porpoising which helps them to move faster. They also breathe while they're airborne. Like us, dolphins need to breathe air. This family of bottlenose dolphins lives in an area of the Indian Ocean off the coast of South Africa. Every day they swim up and down the shoreline, playing and hunting. They know every spot of sand and reef, as well as a human would know his or her backyard. And they have their favorite places with the best type of sand for a good scratch. They might do this to remove parasites and because their skins are very sensitive, no doubt they enjoy the feeling too. This morning, just like every morning, is resting time for the family. But dolphins do not sleep like land mammals they only allow a part of their brain to fall asleep at one time. They just slow down and rest, which is the same as a human sleeping the whole night. For the youngsters of this family, rest time might more accurately be described as playtime. Play involves chasing and biting gently, as well as investigating the world around them and the other inhabitants of the sea. Dolphins are almost as curious as humans. They learn from the adults how to chase and catch their food. For now, they might be too young to actually catch their own prey, but practice makes perfect. Often while swimming, family members touch each other. They use this as a form of greeting and to show affection. While doing this, they talk to each other all the time in a highly developed language of clicks and whistles. Babies stay very close to their mothers and they drink milk from their mother's teats for the first year of their lives. The bond between mother and child is extremely strong. When a baby dies, it's a very sad time and it affects the whole family. It is almost like a human funeral. The mother carries her dead baby for all to see. This tragedy is even worse, as it's very likely that man caused this baby's death. The pollution of the sea first kills the youngest dolphins. They are poisoned by the toxins in their mother's milk. But this is not the only danger to the dolphins' lives. They get hunted by other ocean dwellers, sharks. And the most dangerous of the sharks is the bull shark in this instance. The dolphins are far cleverer than a shark. They call out to each other and band together to drive the dangerous predator away from their home. Safe for now, they return to what they like doing best, playing, swimming and talking. We can only wonder what they speak about. 
Maybe one day humans will be able to understand the dolphin language, perhaps allowing them to find a solution to the dangers that threaten the dolphin's existence. Thank <laughs> you.